Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Tuesday, August 24th, 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Kilauea volcano, strong seismic swarms suggest magma intrusion at a shallow depth. The alert level has been raised to orange, but the big story tonight is Chi-Town, where 1.91 1 inches fell in just under 24 hours. The heaviest rain in 15 months, causing flash flooding. And also the hottest temperature recorded in Chi-Town this summer at 95 degrees. Well, that pales in comparison to the actual record temperature of 109 degrees on July 23rd, 1934. Keep calm. It's truth time. No, no, no. Chicago weather. Severe storms bring flash flooding to the Chi-Town area. Thunderstorm watch in effect for the north and the west suburbs until, well, we go live. A line of severe storms brought high, high winds, heavy rain to the Chi-Town area. While all warnings and watches ha are expired, the sudden storms called, caused flash flooding in Chi-Town and power outages, ComEd says. And those are numerous, and we'll get to them in just a minute. Extreme heat and drought are also crushing key crops punishing U.S. farmers. Now, we warned of this years ago, and now it's coming to fruition. Extreme heat and cold really destroying the biome as summer, full of extreme weather events, broils on. U.S. farmers are watching their cash crops wither and blister under high heat and extreme drought conditions, especially in the upper Midwest. And we'll show you those models in just a second. Now let's talk about some of the Tennessee flooding. Daughter praises her dad who spent the final moments saving the entire family. That's him before he was swept away. And the flooding he was swept away in is quite spectacular. Next, people. At least one person missing after torrential rainfall brings severe floods to Hawaii. <music> Governor David Ige signed an emergency pro- Oh, we got to get rid of that. But you can see the extent and the devastation from the flooding in Middle Tennessee. Now, this is a 100-year, 150-year flood. But as we predicted, this will become a, a common event, more like the, the annual or the five or the 10-year flood. So many regions that haven't seen activity like this in 100 years because it's gener many generations ago. We'll be seeing things that have never happened before. Now, unfortunately, many homes are built in regions that have never been built upon. And, and that's where the loss of life and the catastrophe happens. It's all about the dollar. And that's the way it goes. Now, Henri leaves tens of thousands in the Northeast without power. But all that power is back on, according to Power Outage US. The big outages are in, well, Michigan. Chi Town, we're 133,784 without power. And Illinois, we have 31,000 without power. Those storms that move through are still affecting the region. I hope you have backup. Persistent, dangerous heat in the central U.S. and the southwest, as reported by weather.gov. Intense summer heat and humidity maintains its grip on the Mississippi Valley, which is pretty normal. It's summer. And the heat intensifies in the desert southwest, barely, because most regions are below normal. But they don't say that here. Severe storms and locally heavy rainfall will be possible for portions of the Midwest. Locally heavy, heavy rainfall could cause flash flooding in the southeast, like beasts, but way south of us. Now let's talk about the temperature anomalies and what's actually going on. Now here we have the temperature anomaly map for today, where you can see it's below normal up in the Northwest, which no one reports on. And it's above normal in the red regions. And let's move it through. The heat wave they're talking about is this pink area. Now you can see right above it, there's well below normal pockets, which is typical. And this is where the thunderstorms will happen tomorrow. Nebraska moving east. But you can see here that the temperature is literally 16 degrees above normal. While up, up top here, it is 16 degrees below normal. And this is a grand solar minimum pattern. This is a magnetic excursion pattern with the weakening of the magnetosphere and the breakdown of the jet stream where that meridional flow starts to break down the systems that gave us the stability and the amazing crop production we're used to. 
Now let's run this through through the fall. It's going to get more insane. Here is August 26th where the heat wave will persist in Nebraska, but also in the Northeast, but it's going to be cold down in Florida in the Southeast, as well as the West Coast. And then watch to see how this cold penetrates. We have extreme record highs here, probably 15 to 20 degrees above normal, juxtaposed on 15 to 20 degrees below normal, just to the north. This is what we predicted would be happening five years ago when we started the channel. Huge pockets of extra high temperature next to huge, huge pockets of cold temperature. And as you can see here, as we move to the fall, the cold is going to dominate. Yes, the temperature anomaly colds. We'll take stage. Take a look at Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. First week of September, 20 degrees below normal. Holy macaroni. All the upper Midwest that was baking is going to be chilling. And these are the temperature extremes that we predicted and that are now coming to fruition across North America. Take a look at this cold pattern moving in here in the first week of September. A September to remember, I assure you. Caribbean tropical disturbance could be one to watch for for Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, as well as Mexico. And all the models are pointing towards huge rain here. We're talking 24 inches on the models. And this is through September 9th on the Gulf Coast of Texas. And this all begins on the first day of September. A September to remember, like I told you. All the models are showing a tropical disturbance could dump up to 20 inches of rain for a region that's for hundreds, if not thousands of square miles in e southeastern Texas which will be the nexus of the flash flooding coming soon. Almost no precipitation in the next 14 days for the West anywhere except high in the Olympics. So heads up there. Now, Kilauea volcano, strong seismic swarm suggests magma intrusion at shallow depths, alert level raised. You can see this huge cluster way up at the surface here, well above 10 kilometers. And that is indicative of a huge magma plume moving into the southern rim of the now not erupting Kilauea, which will soon be erupting. And it'll be interesting to see how this develops and what type of explosion occurs here and what we'll see moving forward. An intense earthquake swarm is in progress under the southern part of the Kilauea caldera. And let's just open this up to take a look in the future here. Prompting the uh, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory to raise the alert level to orange as the earthquakes might indicate that magma is intruding at shallow depths and might lead to a new eruption in the near future. The swarm began in the evening of August 23rd and is currently continuing. During the past 24 hours, there are more than 140 quakes detected in a total, including 41 quakes above 2.0. Ho, ho. And there is that cluster in question. Whew. And so we can even see the magma plume and the pipe moving it towards the Kilauea caldera. Pretty fascinating. And here you can see some of that seismic activity above 2.5 magnitude, which is the significant area. So maybe the magma feeds from out here before it gets to here. That's my opinion. It's coming from the Loco Ahi or whatever this is called, Seamount area, which is the most active region and feeding it back to the older regions, which means that it will take much longer for the Mauna Loa to blow up. Seismic update. The entire earth is kind of lighting up, especially uh, South America here on the western shores near Chile. And we should be keeping a close eye because these blot echoes are in huge numbers piling up here at 199 kilometers of 4.3 in Argentina. So we could be looking for a huge earthquake in Chile in the next 24 hours. Mark my words. Now, Boulder, Wyoming, 3.1. Yes, Yellowstone is not going to erupt. So normal activity there. Largest shocker in the last 24 hours in the Camp Chock. They're probably associated with an uptick in volcanism. And we should be looking for activity at Chivalouche to be puffing and passing. Boom! There it is. Chivalouche is puffing to 18,000 feet, as well as normal activity worldwide. <laughs> now let's check out space weather. Multiple sea fla flares in the last 24 hours coming off the sun, including one plasma filament that destabilized as a CME coming towards us. Very minor effects. It's not even showing up. It's yellow, barely. 
So we'll be keeping a close eye the day before my birthday, August 27th for the impact, probably KP4, five at the maximum. Now, what we're experiencing tonight and why you might not be sleeping is because the coronal hole, the northern coronal hole of the sun is coupling with us. Here we can see the massive shift in the BZ associated with a slight pulse here in density followed by plasma speed increasing barely to 400 kilometers per second, which, well, is nothing. But the GOES magnetometer is showing a 70 plus maybe 80 nano Tesla flux tonight, which means there could be aurora in Canada. So please look up. The KP index is stable and we move on. Possible associations between space weather and the incidence of stroke. Now we've been warning about uh, solar storms as well as KP zero and how it affects the body. And here we have a possible link between space weather and stroke. And this is a paper coming out, well, this year, January 14th. And the aim of the study was to detect the association between daily numbers of ischemic strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, and space weather events. Well, and there's a direct correlation. There's also a direct correlation between plate tectonics theory that's taught in schools and what's actually going on. And if you want the real science, check out Dr. James Maxlau, PhD. We've shared Beyond Plate Tectonics with you before, the full PDF. But yesterday, the second edition came out with all the updates, and we're going to share it with you again. 459-page textbook for free from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. No, we don't nickel and dime you like those other channels with a half a million subscribers that prep next to state prisons. No, we'd never do that because we're honest and we're going to give you this for free. We reached out to James to get him on the show to discuss these topics and hopefully he responds. Newly discovered space rock loops the sun quicker than any known asteroid. Now, this should be a moment of pause. The asteroid found that orbits just around between Venus and Mercury here is about a kilometer or more wide and was just discovered. So anything is possible to happen on Earth at a moment's instant. Now unveiling a century-old mystery, where the Milky Way's cosmic rays come from. Holy macaroni. Well, it really doesn't tell us that. It's just a terrible title that is total shart, which is typical of today's media. It doesn't unveil uh, anything and it doesn't even tell us where the cosmic rays come from. It tells us nothing, which is almost pathetic. Thanks, physics.org, for being, well, an up-and-up, up pathetic purveyor of nonsense. Oh, and look, the mainstream has picked up our position that we gave you years ago. No one is going to Mars. No one is growing food on Mars. No one is living on Mars ever. It's impossible. We don't have the technology to do it. It's a death mission for anyone that goes out there and cosmic radiation is king and the reason why it's nonsense. But they're not going to tell the average peon on the planet Earth that what's really happening until now. Now, new research is suggesting that gamma rays could stunt plant growth. Yeah, well, how about the human growth? <laughs> I mean, it's a complete dystopia on what's actually being taught to you. Same thing happening back in 1910. The story of the apocalyptic frenzy inspired by the arrival of Halley's Comet coming soon to a new comet 2023 coming in in 2023 that we already have a Facebook page set up for that's going to make people jump from buildings and rip their face off. Yes, Jesus is coming. Now, if you want to know about solutions and why our dystopian world is so up, it's because we have no concept of actual conservation sustainability, and regenerative practices. There are almost no regenerative practices allowed on Earth because, well, the capitalism model doesn't allow for it. Rape, rape, take, 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 rape, more, 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 and everyone else is expendable. Now, if you want to know about solutions, you have to begin with permaculture. It used to be an idea. It used to be a concept, but it's actually much more than that. It's a design process based in observation and systems thinking. 
It helps people to create ecologically and socially sustainable and regenerative human settlements that are beneficial to people and the ecosystems where they are nested. Yeah. It's happened in the past. It's been scrubbed for future profit shares, but it will be eventually what we have to result and resort back to. It was only recently called permaculture in the 70s, but it's not a new concept. It is the only concept. And if you want to learn how to survive and thrive in the future, please come to the Crestone Energy Fair to learn about the only concept that will save the planet permaculture. My talk on Sunday, August 29th, from 3.30 to 5, live streamed from the Crestone Energy Fair YouTube channel, will open your eyes and you will realize the real lies. Now, the Crestone Energy Fair has been 32 years, continuously, the longest renewable energy fair on the planet. And it will continue at its new venue, 19850 Camino del Oro. And they're still looking for sponsors. If you want to sponsor the fair, you want to get uh, your company's name up on the top of the list, you want to get a mention, if you make a big donation, I promise I will blow your company up. I'll put it on our channel for weeks on end. If you make a difference, I will make a difference for you. It's that simple. That's how we do it. Positive and progressive, community is the key, onward and upward. Nothing is in our way. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In the dystopian world that we all live, you're all picking it up. We're putting it down. Thanks for sticking around. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We bust our butts out here. Day after day, doing the work on the ranch, checking the interwebs all day so that we can expose the fraud that is being perpetrated by the mainstream. And that's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Hit that thumbs up before you go. Ho, ho. And we'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning over at Magnetic Reversal News where we're going to do another live stream and we're going to keep this coffee talk going. 10 a.m. Magnetic Reversal News, live questions and answers. And that's a boo. Be there or be square. Mm -hmm.